Hey guys, welcome to a brand new series. Yes, building Aquitania. And talking of Aquitania, look, look, it's over here. Sky's Aquitania. That's the map we're going to be using. This is going to be, I'm going to try and make this a very futuristic build. We're going to be focusing on the aesthetics in this. As opposed to the uh, the London build, where you know we're, we're kind of being very realistic about trying to trying to make it look exactly like London. Building London for all of you who are currently typing, "Where's London? When's the next London coming out?" It's going to be tomorrow. It's going to be out on Sunday, so you'll you'll be looking forward to that, I'm sure. Right, let's get on with this one. So let's uh, start a new game. We are going to be playing. I'm, I'm so ridiculously excited about this. Uh, we're going to be playing on the Aquitania map. Yes, and uh, let's call it. What are we going to call it? Well, we're going to call it Aquitania. Aquitania. There we go. Uh, which is, has, has become Aquitania with an I. When I started building the map, it was with an, with an A, but it's like that now. Uh, I'm going to use... Yeah, am I going to... I'm, you know what? I'm going to use right-handed traffic, I think. Am I going to use... A, yeah, I'm going to use right-handed traffic. What, what the hell? As you can see, we've got um, all the different natural resources in here. Tons and tons and tons and tons of water. Uh, and the buildable area is like 28%, which is kind of cool because I, I don't want this series to go on forever. So um, now and we're going to be using After Dark, of course, and I'm going to be showing off all the After Dark stuff in, uh, in this map. So it's going to be futuristic and it's going to be loads of After Dark stuff. That's what we're going to build. Let's do it. Right, so here we are. <laughs> I, I really am crazily excited. Um, now we've got this error, and I wanted to, I left this in deliberately because I wanted to show you. Um, this is for a, a medium elevated station that I've been trying out because London, the next London episode is all going to be about the DLR, and I'm working on uh, on that. We're having elevated stations in so. Uh, so there you go. It's like a little thing to get you excited about that right i'm i'm using the um the all unlocks mod so we've uh, we've unlocked all the uh, the 25 squares and it's unlocked uh, like monuments and all that kind of stuff it's excellent stuff uh but i'm not using unlimited money so we're gonna have to be careful of the money and here is the map and as you can see it's like waterfalls galore we've got the waterfalls here we've got all the waterfalls in the background and we've got the waterfalls over there as well. Oh, man, it's so exciting. Right. I, I'm, I'm going to try and turn over a new leaf. I'm, I'm going to try and like get stuff done as much as I can. So we're going to start off. I'm going to buy. Now, we've got 715,000 to spend. I'm going to buy a few tiles. So I'm going to buy this tile up here. That's 5,000. That gives us access to, the, uh, to this sort of um, cove, bay, whatever you want to call it. We'll take this tile here. 7,200 and we'll take this one up here which is another 8,100 so yeah we'll get that now you're probably wondering why I've like gone and bought that one well let me show you if I get out of here uh, it's for the water it's for the water it's all about the water now this map if I go to the to the water flow so you can see you can see that all the water is flowing down here and then it actually goes off the map goes goes out there right so this is kind of a great place to have our sewage outflow so what i'm going to do <clears throat> and i pop in a uh I'm gonna pop in a regular sewage outlet yeah where do i want it kind of i you know i'd like to kind of line the water pipe up with that so like i don't know about there ish and then uh, let's pause the game uh because um for, for one thing, I want to be building in the light. And, of course, we've got the after dark thing now. It's going to go dark. We'll see that. We'll see that. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. Uh, and what else do I want to do? I want to put in a water pipe. So, oh, Now, before I do that, while I'm down here, I'm going to put in a wind turbine just to power this. These light up at night. They look really good. I'm kind of impressed. But you'll see, you'll see it soon. You'll see it soon. Right. So let's take, uh, let's take a... Yeah, have I lined it up with that? Yeah, kind of, sort of-ish. We're going to run this pipe, uh, you know what, I'm going to run it like right up to like about there, I think. There we go, cool. So, uh, we've, got, uh, we've got sewage at least. Now, where are we going to get our water from? Very, very good question. Now, there, um, there's kind of a few places we could get it from. Um, I'm thinking probably maybe here. You know, like, for now, I, mean, I could get it over here, or I could get it like over here, or I could even get it down here. I can get it from anywhere. 
There's so many places. You know what? I might. You know what? I might put it down here and just hook it onto this pipe because it's already there. Is that a good idea? Let's get a water pumping station. Uh, would you? Would you actually? Would it actually fit onto this pipe? Should be kind of nice. Boom! Done. How about that? All right. Cool. Now let's get some uh, some roads going so that we can get some commercial and stuff. Now I want to start up here because I I really like this bay. I think this bay is really nice, and we're going to try and do this kind of kind of nicely. So we're going to start off with uh, a bit of a dirt road, and I'll just point out uh, where is it? Is it that one? Look at this uh, two lane road with bicycle lanes. Oh yeah, one of the new road types in After Dark. You've got. Um, You've got uh, roads with bicycle lanes. You've got roads with bus lanes. And I'm going to, I'm going to be showing you all the after dark stuff in this series. Yeah, I'm going to come around kind of like that. Now, the idea is that there'll be houses. Uh, there won't be houses on the front because obviously that's the beach, right? So there'll just be houses around the back. So I just want to kind of clip the edge of the green as I'm going around. Catch a bit of the... Catch a bit of the beach as well but I want to kind of leave that little bit of green so I think it'll I think it'll look better yep yep I think this is gonna look good I think this is gonna look good and there's all kinds of new leisure stuff there's marinas it's all sorts of stuff for the water there's marinas there's um, jet ski hire all kinds of cool stuff we've got the new specializations there's two new specializations for commercial uh, we've got uh, Am I going to run it all the way around? I think I probably am. Um, we've got, let's see, we've got leisure and we've got tourism, which are kind of awesome source. Oh, cool. And we've got that going all the way around the outside. So we, we need to hook that up to, uh, to this. Now, here's our entrance highway. So the highway comes in here. Now, it does go off uh, across this bridge, and then it hooks up to another highway, which goes off... Uh, on that side, so uh, got to take that into consideration. But I think now we're going to do something fairly easy here. Now this is just looped round at this end. I'm going to demolish that, and uh, we'll put in a slightly bigger kind of bit like that. And then what happens if we link it up? There we go. That'll do. That'll do. Then we'll just take a two-lane road and hook it up from there. We'll go freeform. And and I just want to kind of hook it up to like somewhere, somewhere fairly central on here, I think, like that. And there's going to be lots of curvy roads. It's not going to be too many straight roads in this. This is all going to be fairly curvy because like the map is kind of fairly curvy and stuff. Now, when we get up onto the central islands, it's going to be different. Because it's all geometric up there, and it's going to be there's going to be like oh, incredible futuristic buildings. The kind, let me show you the kind of buildings that we're going to be looking at are let's see. Oh, hang on, here you go. Like stuff like this. <laughs> oh yes, um, this is a, a super futuristic building, and there's it. I think I would like to make this kind of an eclectic mix of the um, the super futuristic with um, like like the the master race who are controlling this place. Maybe it's an alien race with uh, with human subservient uh, slaves was the word I was looking for. I don't. That's maybe the kind of thing. So we'll. I think we'll maybe have a mixture of the, like these futurist, like really tall futuristic buildings, where the uh, the overseers look over the human populace going about their business, and then maybe the human stuff is kind of like a little bit down and depressed or something. I don't know. We'll kind of see how it develops. But there are, like, some of these buildings are just, like, absolutely insanely awesome. I have shown some of these before, but, like, I think it's worth showing these again because they are just fabulous models. Just incredible. All right, right, enough of that. Like, let's get, let's get some stuff going. Um, so we've got this. Now, I'm going to have a mixture of, we're going to have some residential round here. Then we'll have a commercial, like, a, a commercial strip up here. And then I don't know. We might have some more residential coming along here. And then I'm thinking over here we do some we do some industry stuff, so that it's got kind of access to the highway.
right, we've got a bit of industry going on. Right, cool, 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 cool. Um, now, 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 let's have a look. Oh, now, one thing I wanted to show, let's look at land value, because look at this. All of these coastal areas, anywhere that's like by the water, is instantly raised in value, right? So all of these we want to exploit. We want really like nice houses along all of these... Um, all of these coastal areas. So I think we might be doing some kind of individually tailored stuff. Although I have to say, look, you, this strip is only like right on the beach itself. Okay, it does extend like a little bit, but you know, like, yeah, it kind of is what it is. I, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at it now and thinking, yeah, maybe I should have gone like a little bit tighter to the beach, but nah, nah, we'll live, we'll live with what we've got. I think. So let's get some of this um, zoned in and then we can turn this on and actually start running it. Right, so we've got that, we've got that. Then we're going to need some services, aren't we? We're going to need some. Uh, we're going to need some power. We're going to need some electricity. How about having one like down on the headland, and maybe like a couple of them? Could be, could be quite cool. So how, like, how about if we had like one there, and then we maybe put one over there to kind of mirror it? I don't know. We'll see what that looks like. We'll see what. Now that the looks industry like. is going to need uh, a bit more power. And I think we'll give them their own power source. Let's just pop that in. So what are our costs going to be? Let's, uh, let's turn it on and see. So we've got power, we've got water. And I guess we'll find... Oh, 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 and power's on. And that's on. And Chirpy's turned off. Green energy is the best. I agree, Chirpy. You annoying little bird. <laughs> Alrighty, so are we going to get like our first people moving in? Ever? Shall I crank it up a bit? Right, so um, it's costing us like four ninety five hundred. Uh, but like, well, oh, oh, we've got some cars. We've got some cars moving. We've got we've got cars. We've got trucks. Is anybody actually going to like move in, build a house? be kind of nice because we're losing like a thousand oh yeah we've got houses we've got houses right let's pause it because we need some uh, we need some water so let's start extending our water pipes <laughs> There we go. Holly Square. I might even keep these names, but we'll see. Or you can suggest names. You can say, well, that forestry area, you should call it so-and-so trees or fields or something. Uh, we'll keep it as Holly Square, but uh, we want to change the specialization, don't we? Yes, we do. Uh, oh, and how do we change the specialization? Not like that, Sky. You do it by going over here and... Oh, oh have we not got the... Oh, yes, we have. Here we go. With forestry or forestry, there we go. Click now. It's now it's forestry. <laughs> God dear. Oh man, it's been a while. It's been a while, guys. Let's go and do a bit of economy. So let's go to taxes. We'll crank this up to like um, I think eleven percent across the board. And I'll do I'll do the dense ones while I think about it because I'm bound to forget if I don't. Although you guys will remind me. I know you will. You're going to be all over me on this build. I know you are. You're going to be telling me all the new stuff about After Dark and whatever. And we're getting some commercial buildings. Should we have a little bit of a look? I'm going to be doing a lot more zooming in, guys, and showing you, like, the detail. Because, like I said, this is going to be all about the aesthetics. And you know what? Oh, look at that. 
And look at the, look at it lighting up because we're getting towards uh, we're getting towards night time. Let's slow it down and enjoy as look at the look at the windy highway. <laughs> the bridges and everything just look at oh, and I think this was a good decision putting these here. That was a very good decision. Let's, uh, let's go over here. Let's go over here. Right, oh, this needs water, doesn't it? Let's pause that. This needs water. Right, let's get out of this and enjoy the enjoy all the nighttime views. One thing I love, and you'll see this more in the in the Building London series because I, I, I like I've been working on the city. Um, you get these different colours between the main roads and the smaller roads, and it kind of like if you zoom out, you can kind of see where the main roads are, and it, it, you'll see it more on the London build. I think you'll really like it. Uh, right, what else are we going to do? What else are we going to do? Well, we, we, I'm kind of waiting for this to come up. 840 now. 837. We're headed in the right direction. Look at all the new people moving in. Moving into their houses. Oh, I'm liking this already. I'm liking how this is going. Things. Oh, we're in profit. We're in profit. Oh, my Lord. How about that? This is starting to extend down here. Oh, okay. Pause. Right. Over here, they are starting to complain about crime and sewage and dead people. So we've got to put in a whole bunch of services now. So oh. now, crime is the it's kind of, crime is the big thing in After Dark. It's the kind of the big new thing because before uh, in the in the vanilla game, crime just didn't matter. It just really, really did not matter at all. So we need to put in some services. Now it matters. Now the crime rate is is a lot bigger. We'll put a police station in there. Well, I'm not going to procrastinate too much. Uh, we'll get a uh, well, that's the UK medical practice. We're not going to use that. Use a regular medical clinic. Let's pop that in. Let's pop that in there. So we've got we've got a clinic going on. We've got uh, we've got police to try and start to help with our crime situation, which would be nice. Uh, what else do we need? We need uh, garbage. Garbage is going to be the big thing. Now, where on earth are we going to put our garbage? Oh man. Like, where would you put garbage, guys? If you were doing this, where would you put your garbage? I think for now, maybe we have our garbage kind of in here. That's what I'm thinking. Now, an incineration plant is like uh, 1,400 a week, which is a hell of a lot. So I think we'll start off with just a landfill site. So how about a landfill site here, hidden in the trees? Is that a good plan? Yeah, let's do that. So we've got, uh, we've got the garbage going on. We've got medical. We need to, something for dead people. Let's, let's put in a, like a little side road off here. And we'll have the cemetery tucked away up there. Where's the cemetery? Here we go. Cemetery. And we'll just put it up there for now. Boom. All right. Cool. It's got the, got the little church on it and stuff. Cool. Right. Have we addressed uh, all of our needs? No. We need fire. What's the coverage like? Yeah, not fantastic. And But I think we're going to need another one up here. Because look how red these are. And I'm thinking we maybe go... Ah, yeah, no, no, for now. For now we'll put a regular one in. But I, you know, I think ultimately we might upgrade to a Stansted. How does the Stansted one look? The Stansted one looks so much better, I think. Yeah, like what the hell. I'm going I'm to go for a Stansted one. Right, let's see what that does to our costs. Because I think our costs are going to escalate a little bit now. Uh, and, and we're getting crime up here as well. So we may end up having to put a, a fire station up here and another clinic up here and all kinds of stuff. Right, so we're now losing a thousand a week again. But that's coming down and it's coming down quite rapidly. This is complaining about a lack of workers. Now we haven't put any education in yet, but we'll kind of get to that. Oh, come on. Yes, 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 yes. We're hooked up. Excellent. So all of this is now hooked up. This isn't, though, this one over here. So I think what we'll try and do is we'll try and get it hooked up. So how about if we put in some residential up here and up there? 
and see if we can't get that to just fill in rather than spending money on power lines. I mean, we, we have got 500,000 to spend, though. I mean, to be fair. And I don't know. We might we might end up putting in some more residential up there and up there. There we go. Although I'm thinking, you know, like, yeah, commercial. I, I may extend the commercial up here a bit or whatever, but we'll see. Okay, cool. We are getting there. We are getting there. Now, this is the only thing about building at night, and this is why I'm, I was never that bothered about the day-night cycle, is that it's just, like, basically a pain in the ass to see, like, like whatever's going on when it's night time. I don't like building at night time. And the night lasts such a long time in the game. I, like, there needs to be a button to just switch between day and night mode. Is that is that connected? Yeah, it's connected. Oh, yeah, maybe, well, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that. All right, so our little community is coming along. We've, um, we've got all of our basic services. Let's have a quick look and see how we're doing. We have electricity. That's looking good. We've got water. That's looking good. Garbage. Yes, garbage is fine. It's being satisfied by the, uh, by the landfill, which is up there. That's beautiful. We've got... Uh, we've got health. We've got no crematorium available, but we've got cemeteries. We've got three people who've now been buried. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're up to 1,200 people. We are making a profit. We're making a profit of 700 a week. Good Lord. Wonders will never cease. We need more residential and more commercial. Right, you know what? Let's get, let's get a bit more zoning going then. Let's develop our little community. You know what? I'm going to watch this fire. We've got a fire at night. Spectacular. Where is our fire service? Let's see if the fire service actually turn up and deal with it. Yeah, so if you if you know of a mod that does that, let me know. I, I'm thinking we definitely can have some wind farms going on with all the water that we've got. would make a lot of sense. We're up to making... Uh, we're making 450 an hour. Sorry, an hour. 450 a week. Here's the fire brigade. Here they come with the hoses. They've uh, finished working on their latest Gaviscon advert. Not everybody will understand that, but people in the UK will. Yeah, they've finished working on the Gaviscon advert, and they're now uh, working here in in uh, City Skylines. You know what? Let's let's dezone like uh, that, and then we'll rezone it as uh, as commercial. And um, that, yeah, let's just take that out. Cool. Because I, I, I like commercial at crossroads. I think it kind of looks right. Get like that. And we'll run a boat up here. Like that. There we go. Right, so now the people going to work, all the cars, can actually take this road. And then it means the commercial lorries and stuff can uh, can use that road, which should ease any potential congestion. Although they um, they're still going to have to come down this road when they're delivering to these commercial areas. So ultimately, I think we'll be upgrading this to a four-lane road because it should be. Let's let's face it, it should be. We're up to uh, we're up to seventeen hundred now, guys. Going, it, this is going to go, I think, relatively quickly. Uh, if we go into city planning, there's a new thing. It's not that. What is it? Services? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. School's out. 
Um, your citizens will prefer working over education and only a small portion of the eligible citizens will go to study in the university. And what that is for is if you want to do like a big farming thing or even a little farming thing where you have a farming community and you don't want them to become overeducated so that there's never anybody available to work on the farms, um, you can implement that policy, which I think is awesome. I'm really glad that they did that. I must admit, that, that was a surprise to me. I didn't realise that was in there uh, until I actually kind of got in. Right. <clears throat> so, After Dark. What, like, what, what can I tell you about After Dark? I'm sure most of you know, but I think a few of you probably don't. After Dark is, is split into two parts. Part of it is a free update. The day-night cycle uh, is part of the free update, for example. Uh, and the, um, the roads... So that the roads with uh, bicycle lanes and the roads with um, bus lanes, stuff like that, like infrastructural stuff, the is is all included in the free update, along with I think it's seventy two new buildings. Uh, all the crime mechanics are included. For After Dark, the the paid expansion, it's a bunch more content. It's um, the additional. Um, commercial specializations of leisure and tourism oops that, uh, there's tourism they're in the paid expansion along with a bunch of uh, a new bunch of buildings for the paid expansion and what is oh and prisons if we go to where's where's here we go prisons this is the prison over here and what happens with the crime i get let me explain how the crime works i started telling you about the crime so the crime has been increased so there's more crime that goes on. And what happens is that when a criminal gets arrested, he gets taken to the local police station. Is this the police station? No, it's the medical clinic. He gets taken, here's the police station. He gets taken to the police station. And this has a jail. Here we go. Criminals in holding cells. 11 out of 20. So they get locked up in there. But there's no kind of rehabilitation that goes on in police stations. So that when they leave, they will pretty much immediately go out and commit another crime. In order to get rehabilitation, you need to have prisons. So, I'm trying to, I'm trying to kind of, where can I put this where you can actually kind of sort of see it? Um, yeah, here's the prison. And as you can see, it's quite a big, quite a big building. But when the when the prisoners are sent to here from the jails, uh, the local prison jails, uh, the the local jails at the police station, you knew what I meant. When they get sent to the prison, then they'll be, uh, when they're released from there, they'll be rehabilitated. And th there is actually another uh, city policy, which I'll show you, which is harsh prison sentences. The prison sentences are twice as long as usual, and the harsh verdicts keep the worst felons off the streets for longer. Double the usual prison sentences. And that reduces the overall crime rate, because people are afraid to commit crimes, because they're going to be locked up for so long, like up there. Unzone that bit. There we go. We're out of electricity again. Is that like, yeah, we need more electricity. Good Lord. Let's put in another one of these rather sexy advanced turbines. And I'd like to kind of balance this up if I can. So we'd want it about there, wouldn't we? About there. There. Yep, that's, that's pretty much balanced. But let's have a look at that. So, yes, nice. How, what's that done for our uh, electricity supplies? Yeah, now we've got plenty of electricity again. We'll double check on like water. Oh, we're coming to the limits of our water. Uh, so, uh, garbage, uh, we're filling up the landfill, but it's still okay. Health is fine as far as cemeteries. How about the, how about the hospitals? Healthcare, yeah, we've got loads, okay. Things are looking pretty good. Fire services. We could do with some more fire coverage. I think we might put in another fire station somewhere to try and improve things a little bit. Uh, we'll go with like a, uh, which one? Regular, regular firehouse. Let's put a regular firehouse maybe over here. Right there. Yeah, I'll make lots of people happy, which is always a good thing. Uh, I do need to start thinking about putting some parks and stuff like that and leveling some of these areas up. Uh, police is looking good. We've got plenty of jail availability. We've only got, well, we've got about half the criminals locked up. 
or, or half our jail space occupied by criminals is what I meant to say. Primary schools. Now, do we start getting some primary schools going? And the answer is yes, we should. Let's bang in. Let's start getting some educated people. So let's bang in a primary school like over there and start that process going. We can probably extend this a little bit and get a bit more going on. Bang that one up. There, that'll do. Uh, electricity should hook up. That's not a problem. All right, cool. And it's going to it's going to night time again. Oh, this is all starting to look very pretty at night. Look at all the lights around the bay. I think we're definitely going to have some marinas and stuff going on in here. Uh, now, now, a lot of this stuff is going to be in parks and stuff. Now, oh, oh, man. Um, you know what? I'm not going to go into this, but there is huge potential to use some of these amazing futuristic bridges. Oh, this is the one. This is the one. I cannot wait to use that. What do you think? I'm like, I'm thinking like maybe like over here or something. How cool would that look as like, like a massive suspension bridge across there? Oh, I think that would look super awesome. Um, assets. If you've got any futuristic assets, let me know. Uh, leave me comments. Let me know what you think of the series. What do you want me to do in the series? What do you want me to focus on? What else do you want me to show you? Uh, do you like? Do you want me to use loads of um, cycling? Put loads of like like loads of cycle lanes in, or do you want me to focus on like more public transport? Do you want trains, subways, uh, hot air balloons? Um, uh, I don't know, monster trucks. <laughs> Whatever you want, leave me a comment. We've got started. We've broken ground. I'll see you for the next episode, guys. Peace out.